So today I'm going to try to explain to you because so many people are asking me all the time how to adjust the static timing. So you adjust the static timing, it's a way to do the timing when the engine is not running, when you do not have a light and it's close enough usually to let you adjust it properly later when the engine is running and to start the engine with that. So what do you need actually is a test light, a wrench of course, with the only missing 10 mm socket. So be lucky to find this one before you start. You need to put your engine on the number one TDC top dead center, number one cylinder before you start because you're going to adjust your timing on the number one cylinder. So like I said, you need your 10 mm and a test light. And if you have the luck, some luck, you can have the shop dog too, which is super quiet today because it's cold. Okay, so we are going to put everything on TDC. You have several things to do. When you have the poulet like that, it's easy, of course, because you can go straight on TDC. Otherwise, you open the distributor and you know that your number one is marked on the distributor, usually. There's a small notch just here, okay? And you turn your engine to reach the TDC. You have different poulets on Volkswagen, of course. So usually on this one, when you have those marks like that, your TDC will be this one. And that is actually because of the vacuum advanced distributor, you want to adjust your timing on this front mark. On some older poulet, like this is a 36 horse, you just have one mark, which is much more easier, and you just adjust on that mark, just one. This is your TDC. On some other poulets, have several marks, so those are the most tricky ones, because when you have two marks like that, you need to know that those marks are actually 5 after, and 7.5 7 after, because usually you want to adjust the distributor, if it's original to the car, between those two marks. If you have an 009 or something different, your zero is going to be just a little before that. But anyway, with the, o, with the 009 distributor, you always go on static timing at 758 degrees. So you will go on the, on the, on the small mark on the right. Okay now, so like I said, we are on TDC. So you start by just Losing your distributor, of course, in the good way. Hop. You lose your distributor, be sure it's well loose, like that you can move it. No problem, okay? You are in t we are in TDC, like I was saying before, because it's a 009 type distributor, we are going to adjust the static timing at 8 degrees, because those distributors will, will run hot if you are doing that a little bad. So we're going to put like 8, 8 degrees and then we're going to put the light on. To put the light on, you just take your test light, okay? You put the clamp somewhere on number, on the coil negative side, okay? And your light somewhere, you ground here, usually I use the here the distributor because it's holding pretty well sometimes, of course. Okay, and I have my ground directly like that for, to the negative coil. If you have, those are ele electri electronic distributor, but that is the exact same with the regular points. Then you're going to put the ignition key on. Ignition key on. Up. Perfect, yes, one light is not working. No worry, it's a bug. So here we are, everything is attached, the power is on to the coil. And you just want to turn your distributor on looking at the light. You turn your distributor clockwise, you, you are pretty much on number one here, okay? And you turn your distributor, not clockwise, I'm sorry, counterclockwise, until you reach the light. And when the light is there, puff, you come back just slightly to stop it. Allez, come back, come back, come back up. And you come back a second time just to be sure. And you just stop there. And this is your static timing. Then you can close back everything and the car should be able to start. Very simple, as you saw. 
you need to attach the test light between the minus of your coil, minus number one, on the ground somewhere. So I'm using usually the generator because it's easy, but you can ground pretty much everywhere on the car as soon as it's not a hot power. Here we have the distributor. I moved it slightly clockwise to align my my rotor directly on the small notch, okay? I put my TDC at 8 degrees advance to do my static timing because it's a 009 distributor, okay? On any other vacuum advance distributor, you need to check uh, where you do you need to adjust the timing, but usually at zero, it's good. We are going to turn the distributor counterclockwise now until all the light is going on on the test light. Slowly. Zack. It's coming. Light is on. Can't see. Yes. Up. So I'm going to come back now clockwise. Slightly. Come back. Up. Light is off. And I'm coming just slowly counterclockwise now. Until the light is on again. Up. And I'm not moving. You tight your distributor on. You should be able to drive anywhere now. Have a good day, guys.